Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. People, people, wagwan, wagwan. Right now, I just want to take the time out for big up each and every one Panda Friday here. To see another Friday, it is a blessing indeed, which means we have lived throughout yet another week. In times like these, we have give thanks. Fridays are also days to finish up your goal that you have set out to accomplish from the beginning of the week. And most of all, it kicks off the weekend. So we are going to step into the weekend with nothing but positivity and love. With all that being said, let us get right down into the topics. A homeless man was killed on Friday morning on Lindos Road in St. Andrew. Police told our news team that a stone was used to hit the now deceased man several times to the head. The accused is allegedly said to be a man of unsound mind. The accused is said to be a man of unsound mind. However, this has not yet been confirmed by the police. A former member of the Jamaica Defense Force was fined for illegal possession of ammunition when he appeared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court yesterday. The 21-year-old pleaded guilty to the offense. His attorney, his attorney told the court that he is remorseful for his actions as he had all intentions to turn over the objects to his supervisor. My client advised me that he was walking along the roadway in the vicinity of Tiverly Gardens and he was scheduled to go on duty at the Jamaica Defense Force at Upper Camp. He noticed the issue and he took them up because he knew that there was violence in the area and he did not want them to fall into wrong hands. He had all intentions to give the materials to his supervisor upon his arrival at Upper Camp. However, he fell asleep and it fell out of his pockets. When it was discovered, he cooperated fulsomely. He answered all questions truthfully and cooperated with the JDF. His action, I would say, is regrettable, but he acknowledged that he ran amok of the law by not following certain protocols. We are asking for a non-custodial sentence. His lawyer said that her client had no previous convictions. He is no longer a member or a serving member of the Jamaica Defense Force because of this case, and he has... And he has been serving since he was 19 years old and he was the one who was supposed to elevate his family and everyone is shattered by this, the lawyer said. Senior parish judge Lorian Cole imposed a fine of 75000 or six months imprisonment. The detainee who died at the Mandeville police lockup in Manchester shortly after falling ill on Thursday has been identified as Duane Tomlin. He was in custody for break-ins. Superintendent Lloyd, head of Manchester Police, said detainees at the lockup were released from their cell about 5.30 on Thursday for their morning routine. According to the superintendent, the man fell ill after using the shower and was pronounced dead at the hospital. Mr. Tomlin had been offered bail but remained in police custody as he was unable to take up the offer. Now, viewers and subscribers, I could take a walk go straight over St. Catherine over Portmore, Deso. Serious things are going over there. A gunman was shot and killed and three police officers were injured during a reported shootout in Portmore, St. Catherine on Friday. Full details in the incident are not clear at this time, but sources are reporting that an illegal firearm was recovered by the police team after they intercepted a car with men who had just committed a robbery. A shootout ensued and one of the men from the group was fatally shot. <laughs> So viewers and subscribers, words in the street is that these men went on a robbery. In addition to the valuables that they got, they stole a car. The police were informed and lucky enough, the police woke up on them 
started to chase in them and a shootout ensued. So yeah, we know more than likely them start to shoot out because them expect the police them for detour or stop follow them or whatever the case might be. However, the police did not. They continued the chase. So them started trading gunshots with the thieves. And that is when three police officers were shot and injured and one of the thief was fatally shot. The others were taken into police custody. However, they have not been identified as yet. A lot of persons were on the scene, police, cars, traffic, everything. So if you're interested in seeing that video, all you have to do is go down in the description of this video where you will see a link to the CHOP City Telegram group. Just click on the link, you automatically join the group. And that video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested in seeing the video, just run on over to our Instagram at chop city tv that is c-h-o-p-c-i-t-o underscore tv send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. No people, me just want to take the time with a big up them police officers here because let me tell you something. Now what I feel like say it's easy to get a phone call, them jump out same time, put out all of the effort to catch up on them teeth yeah, in a shootout with them back and forth. See three of them colleagues get shot and still continue just to catch up on them. Yeah, we know some them job them are do. But remember, say them not really have to do it because a lot of police get calls daily and them still not do nothing. Them just go and lay back until things gone bad. Them just got a scene, go take up with them for take up. Say them go process the scene and just call it a day. So when you see them officer, yeah, jump out and do the work, put in the work for catch up on them old criminals, yeah. When you want to get up and go work for them own, you yeah, have to beat them up. Them deserve it. Because any one of them could have been the one who was fatally shot and them just gone. Just like that because they might try to protect we the citizens. So when you see them come out and do them work, give them them credit now. As I say, the video is there in our telegram group. If you want to be a part of our WhatsApp group, that is fine. Just the same, just run on over to the Instagram page and ask for the link. My need for hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section. So remember for left it down there. Make all our reasoning. Remember, so my opinion is not always the gospel. So might as well do all our reason down there. Viewers and subscribers, we have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out. Stay safe and full down a weekend to the fullest.